strap yourself in. I'm about to uncover the biggest secret ever kept in the Imperium. And it goes all the way back to the Emperor himself. Let's get what for like now before we slide down this glorious wet hole i just want to say this video will contain spoilers for the following book the siege of terror series all the way up to the latest end of death well end of death number one we haven't got number two yet the valdor book and also the eisenhorn ravena and beckwin series if you haven't read any of them and you don't want to be spoiled Leave now, because the foil takes no prisoners. Now, we all know the story of the Horus Heresy. The Emperor made the Primarchs, the Legions. He sent them out to conquer the galaxy in humanity's glorious name. But of course, Horus had a nightmare and betrayed the Emperor. He gathered all the... Primarchs that wanted to betray the Emperor. They went to Terra. Dawn saved Terra because he's an absolute genius. The Emperor went to the Vengeful Spirit. He had a one-on-one -on -one battle with Horus. Horus mortally wounded the Emperor, but before he went out, the Emperor mind-blasted Horus into oblivion. Dawn carried the Emperor as the most loving, as the most faithful, as the most loyal son back to the Golden Throne, placed him on there, and that is where the story ended. But all that is a lie. We've been lied to. We've been lied to for 10,000 years. And I'm about to break this story. I'm about to give you the truth, the foil. The foil has given me true sight. And I'm about to tell you what is actually going to happen. Now, this is not the Sanguinius Theory. For people who are asking, what's the Sanguinius Theory, Valrak? Basically, some people are thinking that it's Sanguinius that is going to put the Emperor on the Golden Throne. The Emperor's going to walk into the Vengeful Spirit. He's literally just going to slap Horus so hard, his head spins off like a helicopter, and Sanguinius gives in to the powers of Chaos, turns into this absolute monster, and he is the one that devastates the Emperor, that makes him go on the Golden Throne, and this is where we are today. And it's kind of ironic, like, because we celebrate Sanguinius as Sanguinara as the saviour of the Imperium when truly it was like him who put the Emperor on the Golden Throne. It's a good theory, but it's a wrong theory because I know the truth. As I said, the foil's been speaking to me. This betrayal is bigger than anything that we suspect. It's not Horus that puts the Emperor on the Golden Throne. It's not Sanguinius who puts the Emperor on the Golden Throne. It's Constantine Valdor, his most beloved creation that brings the Emperor down. Now, before you run to your local inquisitorial fortress and scream heretic, just listen to this evidence. We all know custodians are bred to be loyal until death. But we've seen in the latest End in the Death book that custodians actually tried to kill the Emperor of Mankind. When they first went up to the ship, some of them were twisted and the Emperor had to bring them down himself because the powers of chaos literally turned them on to the Emperor. It was insane. So we do know that they can literally be twisted and tormented in a way that they can actually do harm against the Emperor. Now, that could be one way chaos could affect Valdor, but I think Valdor is stronger than that. And I think the tools of the Emperor's own demise is actually from the Emperor himself because he gave Valdor a weapon called the Apollyon Spear. And what this spear allies Valdor is every enemy he brings down, he knows everything about, he knows the truth. It's literally, it shows him everything. And what has Valdor been doing for the past couple of years? Literally fighting the forces 
of chaos. Every time he strikes down a demon, he sees the truth of the demon. He knows its name. He knows everything about it. He knows all the secrets about the war. Surely over time, that is going to affect even the most greatest of minds to see into literal chaos itself. And I think what's going to happen is that Valdor is going to end up on the vengeful spirit and he's going to be standing over the emperor the emperor's gonna have this epic duel you know he's exhausted help me help me brother not brother help me my most gifted help me valdor and valdor's gonna be like um i must know what the plan is i must know what it all means and he's gonna stab the emperor because the spear will allow him to see the truth and he will allow him to see what the Emperor really had planned, not only for him, for the Imperium, for everyone. Valdor just wants the truth. It's Logar 2.0. It's always been about the truth. And this all sets up what the hell has been going on in all the latest books in 4K. When I say latest books, the Eisenhorn, Ravenor, Beckwim series, where we've been following this individual called the King in Yellow. And at the end of the latest Beckwim book, it was kind of revealed that the King in Yellow's name was Constantin Valdor. What if Constantin Valdor saw the whole truth? Truth, the whole plan, what this is all about, and he has decided that he has to build this army to take on the forces of chaos. This is why he's building an army of blanks. This is why he's gathering forces of custodies to him. This is why space marines are joining him. This is why Eldar entire fleets, chaos itself, is trying to hunt down Valdor to stop what the hell he's doing because he knows the truth. He's seen everything because he stabbed the emperor and then he literally walked away because again once the end of the siege finishes or like during the like literally well it states during the end of the siege of terror valdor disappears there's no like hey valdor where you going kind of thing he just gets up and leaves he leaves with no one knowing I really do think that Valdor is the key to everything. It could unlock one of the biggest potential storylines we have ever bloody seen. The Captain General fighting on his own terms. This could be huge anyway you foil lovers i'm gonna leave the video there a huge shout out to rogel norn for um inspiring this fear um he sent me a pm the other day talking about this and it literally just got me so hyped about it i had to don the foil to speak about this i'm i'm sold on it i am literally sold on this fear it's probably not gonna happen it's probably gonna be something a lot more less eventful, you know, they're just going to wrap it up. The Emperor is the one that brings Horus down, vice versa, and stuff like that. But how cool would it be if one of the big characters like Valdor was one of these individuals that actually brought the Imperium down? He was one of the triumphant. It was him, the Emperor, and Malkador. To be betrayed by Valdor himself is the ultimate betrayal. It's bigger than Horus. It's bigger than anything. Don't forget, the Emperor literally marched his his Thunder Warriors, the armies he gathered um, during the days of, you know, crusading on Terry, nearly lost everything just to find Valdor and raise him and make him into this being what he is today. All that just to be betrayed at the end. That, my friends, is Warhammer. And that is why I love it. See you in a bit. Have a good one. And bye-bye.